G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in the workshop, quite often you have to look at small stuff, stuff that's hard to read, and a good case is, uh, say, Carby Jets, read the numbers, or check the orifice to see whether it's worn or not, or the needles, this is the needle out of the Del Auto slide off of Ducati, or maybe you want to check a tap, see if the the cutting edges are still good, or maybe just read the numbers off of them. So what do you do? There's a lot of, you know, times you do need, need to look at really small stuff, more print. So, what do you do? Well, first port of call is magnifying glass. And I've had that one a very long time, as you can see. <laughs> it's been dropped a few times. If it doesn't work, well then you go for jeweler's loop. And I've had but this for a long time too. Got a chunk out of it. This is a 10 or a 20, I'm not sure what it is, but these are really good. The only trouble with these is you're going you're gonna to have some good light to, to see what you're reading, get up very close, which makes it difficult. And then the things fall out of your eye, and uh, <laughs> they, do, they do for me anyway. So, what's an alternative? Well, USB microscopes have been around, the ones that plug in the computer have been around for a very long time. And I looked at those a while back and I wasn't very impressed. The cheap ones are just that cheap and nasty. And uh, I forgot about it. Anyway, just recently I've been having another look and I see that there's a model out that uh, is more expensive, but it does have a decent little stand and it is easier to use. You can adjust it more finely. So what happened? Well, I lashed out and bought one. I'll show you what I got. And this is the unit. It's made by Andon Star, and uh, it's quite well put together. This little thing, and uh, the reviews I've seen on it suggest it's a lot better than the basic units. This cost me seventy dollars Australian delivered, and it arrived very, very quickly from China. The parcels got bounced around a bit, but it didn't do any damage to the unit, thank goodness. So I'll show you what you get for. $70. First off you get a aluminium base plate with a little rubber feet on it. And then you get another bit which screws into that. Like so. And that is the little raising mechanism that raises the camera up and down, the endoscope. Then you get another bit like that. that drops on there, and that holds the, the endoscope and that can pivot that way and also the head rotates this way, little, little threaded screw goes on there, you can lock it in whatever position and then it, it turns, so the th result is you can move the, the arm up and down. There's a bit of side to side in it, which I'm not really happy about, but it's probably why the later versions, uh, which I couldn't seem to find on the eBay, have got a, a couple of wheels which raise it up and down like a microscope so you don't get that twisting action that you get with this one, which is a bit of a nuisance, but you just have to live with that. So yeah, the later model, if you can get it, would be better. This is all I could get. And then of course, here's your Here's your endoscope, and that just goes in there. And then you, you can move that up and down, lock it where you want. And that's the business. Um, that goes right down, and you can focus it with this little wheel here. We can move it up and down and focus with this one as well. So it's pretty cool, pretty, pretty neat little unit. And then you've got a, a USB lead, a little wheel on this thing that adjusts the eight LEDs in the tip, and a button to take photos. And that's it. But the beauty of this is that you've got control over the camera. The base is well, the mount for the camera. The arm is well away from the camera. The cheapy ones, you know, those barrel-type ones with a 
rotating adjuster in the middle of them. The stands are pretty wonky. This one's quite nicely made. And as I said, the only thing that is a bit weak is it's got side to side on it, which, you know, as you change rotation direction, move the arm a bit. Hmm. Anyway, so if you get the later, mod, later model one, do it. So what can it do? Well, uh, it just plugs straight into the computer and uh, if you've got Windows 8, the software will recognise it and just uh, bring up an application which lets you do videos or take pictures. You do get a driver disk with this, with some software on it, but the software is pretty crappy and you don't really need it anyway. In fact, I think the Windows software is way better than what comes with it. So forget about the software if you've got Windows 7 or 8 um, or above, then you should be good to go. So we'll put a bit of stuff through it and see what it can do. That's a nail file. Pretty good, pretty good optics. I haven't played with the colour at all, this is just the way it came. I've just fired it up, plugged it in, fired it up, and I'm just using the Windows software. Uh, let's see if we can go in even closer with it. Lower the whole thing down, and then we'll focus it on the on the actual endoscope. And fine finish on the vertical arm. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. It's not bad at all. So that we can go down closer. Right, well here's uh, the Lord Carby main jet. Focus with the vertical adjuster. You get a bit of side to side movement, but it does focus pin sharp. It's recording the video at 1280 by 960, 16 frames a second. That's not bad. So let's try and go right down into the into the orifice to see if we can have a good look down inside the jet itself. Just the light a bit. We can see the machine marks in the actual jet. Look at that. Look at that. How good is that? Oh, that's bloody brilliant. I'm just adjusting this with the, the vertical arm adjuster. That is really good. That is really good. There you can get a good look down inside there and see how it looks as far as where and that. And then we'll just bring it back up.
pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. This is amazing. These are some three mil carbide burrs for my little air dye grinder. The background makes a difference as far as the automatic colour adjustment goes, but there you go, so they're little three mil three mil burrs. How's that? Pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'm, pretty, I'm very pleased with this. This is a great little unit. Fantastic. I mean, that's, you know, that's excellent. So what do I think of it? I think it's pretty good. It's uh, certainly not a toy. It's very well made apart from that slop in the arm, which is a bit annoying. I would have liked to have got the later model and reviewed that, but I couldn't, unfortunately. This is all I could get. But I'm still pleased with it. I think it's very good. Um, it's value for money. It's uh, certainly way ahead of the really cheap ones. And the uh, image quality is fantastic. You have to watch it with the base. Being aluminium, it's highly reflective, so you can easily oversaturate the image if you've only got a very small item under there. A bigger item, which covers the whole um, projection width, not an issue, but something really small, you get all that light bounce back, and it will definitely um, cause a problem as far as uh, colour saturation and um, um, light adjustment. You can get around that by just using a bit of um, matte finish paper or a bit of cardboard, this is a bit of manila folder. Put your item on that and then you can move it around also on the paper without touching it. It'll stop all that reflectivity problem and it'll do a good job. So there you go, well that's it from me. It's, um, <laughs> it's good, it's a handy thing for the workshop. I like it a lot and I'm pleased I bought it. And uh, yeah, look on the internet I haven't seen anybody do Reviews as far as workshop use goes, there's a lot more you could do with this. Obviously, you know, you can use it as a webcam and you could, you know, photograph machinery parts or do whatever you want rather than use it as a microscope. You can stick it in your car door, the endoscope comes out, you can shove it in your car door and look to see what's going on in there or poke it into nooks and crannies and see what's going on. And uh, overall, it's got a lot of uses. So there you go. I hope you found this interesting. It's something different and uh, yeah. Great buying. I'll see you next time. Cheers.